Now at 5.30, we here at CBS4 are committed to bringing you stories about why mentoring matters. And today's story takes us to a classroom at the New World School of the Arts, where a teacher describes his 18-year-old mentee as a very special, creative, and critical thinker. Both of them are celebrating a huge accomplishment. Leonardo Bacon was one of only a few students to win an award that puts him in the company of some of the greatest artists of all time. Take a look. It is harsh moments combined with good moments and there's hope and then while hope for happiness, you know, hope for a better, a better way, a better place, in the same time you're in this place where you don't know what's going to happen next. 18-year-old Leonardo Bacon, a student artist at the New World School of the Arts, is gentle and soft-spoken. But when you take a closer look at his pieces, you realize he's a mastermind in the making. Why I made the paintings is to communicate my, my feelings. It's like a translation of me in the paintings. I think the paintings are a perfect representation of a therapeutic moment that I was experiencing. Earlier this year, Bacon was selected out of thousands of students around the country as a Scholastic Art and Writing Awards Goldport Scholarship winner for his portfolio of paintings. From New World School of the Arts in Miami, Florida, Leonardo Bacan. The prestigious award puts him in the company of Andy Warhol, Truman Capote, Sylvia Plath, Robert Redford, author Stephen King, and actress Lena Dunham. Bacon, along with 23 other winning teens, was celebrated at a medal ceremony at New York City's Carnegie Hall. I wasn't totally surprised. Because I know he's very talented and he works hard. It was an absolute um, thrill to see him find that success and find people that found that value in him as well. Bacon credits his high school teacher and mentor, Carlos Gayostra, for helping him prepare for this big project. He's helped me so much. Without him, I, I really, I tell him all the time, he's, he's, he says, nah, nah, it's all you. But I tell him all the time that without him, I really wouldn't have been anywhere near today. Like, what's happening? Yeah. Very grateful. I will stay after school, hours, just talking to him about what I'm going through. He would help me with my paintings, give me advice. Since the beginning, he was always been, he's always been there to help me. What do you have in mind to do? Where do you want to take it? I think I want to keep this one as organic as possible. Okay. To have that privilege to be a mentor, to feel relevant, to feel that you can make a difference in someone's life in that way, that, that, you know, just really just makes everything worth it. I'm very proud. Bacon's parents, who are from Brazil, are also celebrating this milestone. They say they could tell he had a gift from the time he was a toddler. I never thought, you know, I said, okay, this country gives you the opportunity. They, you know, it's possible to see it happen. This fall, Bacon is attending the new School of the Arts College, and he continues to work with Dr. G. I do think he is in for a huge ride next four years here at New World and even thereafter. And what is Bacon planning for his future? Hopefully in his studio, practicing his art, making more art. Hopefully I can become a teacher one day in the world. That'll be really fun. Opportunities for the 2017 Scholastic Awards are open right now. The Alliance for Young Artists and Writers invites students in grades 7 through 12 to submit original artwork and writing. That's amazing. And he is so talented for such a young guy. Very talented and very articulate and smart and just he has so many great qualities. I know he's going to do really, really well. Great information. Thanks for sharing yeah. it. And for information on how you can become a mentor, head on over to our website, cbsmiami.com slash mentoring matters. There's Ruta Bay going up the screen. <laughs> we have a whole list of organizations you can get involved with. And we also want to hear about mentors in your life. You can tell us by emailing us, mentoringmatters at cbs.com.